Welcome back, I'm Mario Anderson. On today's episode, we recently spent a full day traveling with Governor Matt Bevin to find out what a day in the life of Kentucky's top elected official entails. Here's more of our conversation. Uh, you've obviously mentioned the pension crisis. It's uh, with the Supreme Court still, but are you confident that uh, they're going to rule on your side of, of the... I've, I'm, I'm, I have no degree of confidence or lack thereof. But what I do believe is the law matters. And if they uphold the law, then they will affirm the fact that the legislature is absolutely authorized to make the changes that they did for future employees. If they rule against the legislature, they are assuming for themselves a level of responsibility that not only defies the Constitution itself, but opens up an amazing uh, Pandora's box of problems for this state and as a precedent for the nation. I would like to think that they will have the wisdom not to do that, to stay in their lane as jurists and not to assume the responsibility of the legislature. Uh, for those future educators that you know, uh, see about, about the pension crisis and the conversations that are going on, what advice would you give to, to them about uh, continuing work in Kentucky and not looking to want to pursue to leave or, or look at other opportunities? I would say if you want to be one of the highest paid teachers in America on a cost of living standpoint, why would you not want to stay in Kentucky? There's only six states out of 50 that on a cost of living adjusted basis pay their teachers more than we do here in Kentucky. So this argument that somehow we're not going to be attractive is ridiculous. The reason they come here and are moving here from other states is because not only do we pay well relative to other states, but the benefits are good. And while it will change going forward for future employees in terms of the defined contribution plan versus the current defined benefit, if we promise them a defined benefit, they won't get it. So who would want to go to a state where they're going to lie to you? The reality is we can't afford to offer it to them, so let's not pretend that we can. Because if we offer something to them that we can't afford, we undermine them, the current teachers and other workers, and those that are retired. And we deserve better than that. People deserve the truth, and that's what we're going to give them here in Kentucky. Finding good people to teach, to work in state government, this is not going to be a problem here in Kentucky. Uh, we chatted with Secretary Meyer earlier uh, and, and spoke about his plans for 2019 and the cabinet and just different things that he's wanting to accomplish. But uh, we talked a lot about the Medicaid and the 11 to 15 waiver. So yes. are you uh, excited that the rollout is officially underway and uh, the prospects that it has on the state? I am excited. It's a shame that we had a single judge in Washington, D.C., who for no reason, literally, other than his own personal inclinations, delayed what will be a nine-month delay on moving the ball forward for Kentucky. The opportunity cost, the millions of wasted dollars, and the lives whose lives have been put in limbo because of one rogue judge, it's a shame. But this is the world in which we live, so we've jumped through the little hoops we've had to jump through, and we're right back to exactly where we were this past summer. So April 1st, we will be right back at it, and we will start to expect of able-bodied working age people with no children that they will do something in exchange for the benefits that they receive. Um, and with our final moments, uh, you've announced that you're running for re-election, um, but uh, once the new year starts, are you planning to officially kick it into campaign mode or what's what you We'll get you're... to it. I mean, we have until January 29th to make it official. Uh, I have made it clear I am going to run, and, and in the meantime, I've got a job to do. I'm focused on the job. Uh, in, the, in the course of the election will begin to take care of itself uh, in the months ahead. There's no question. It's a busy season, uh, the, the election season for anybody running for office, and we will take it seriously. We intend, I, don't, I don't intend to not win. I don't intend to not take it seriously. Uh, and we've got so much yet to do. I'm looking forward to getting it done uh, with this legislature in the years ahead. Well, Governor Matt Bevin, we appreciate uh, your time and uh, joining us on InFocus Kentucky and uh, sharing what your vision is for uh, 2019 and, and, and beyond. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Hey, Thanks absolutely. a lot. That's it for today's program. You can go online right now to SpectrumInFocus.com to watch my full interview with Governor Matt Bevin. Plus, you can also watch past episodes of InFocus Kentucky. And don't forget, you can continue the conversation with me on social media all week long as well. Until next time, have a great week.